7. Know then this truth, enough for man to know, virtue alone is happiness below. The only point where human bliss stands still and tastes the good without the fall to ill, where only merit constant pay receives, is blessed in what it takes and what it gives. The joy unequaled, if its end if it gain, and if it lose, attended with no pain. Without satiety, though e'er so blessed, but and, and but more relished as the more distressed. The broadest mirth unfeeling folly wears, less pleasing far than virtue's very tears. Good from each object, from each place acquired, forever exercised, yet never tired, never elated, while one man appre man's oppressed, never dejected, while another's blessed. And where no wants, no wishes can remain, since but to wish more virtue is to gain. See the soul bliss heaven could on all bestow, which who but feels can taste, but thinks can know, yet poor with fortune and with learning blind, the bad must miss, the good untaught will find. Slave to no sect who takes no pr private road, but looks through nature up to nature's God, pursues that chain which links the immense design, joins heaven and earth, and mortal and divine. Sees that no being any bliss can know, but touches some above and some below. Learns from this union of the rising whole, the first, last purpose of the human soul. And knows where faith, law, morals all began, all end in love of God and love of man. For him alone, hope leads from goal to goal, and opens still and opens on his soul, till lengthened on to faith, and unconfined, it pours the bliss that fills up all the mind. He sees why nature plants in man alone hope of known bliss and faith in bliss unknown. Nature, whose dictates to no other kind are given in vain, but what they seek they find. Wise is her presence. present. She connects in this his greatest virtue with his greatest bliss. At once his own bright prospect to be blessed and strongest motive to assist the rest. Self-love thus pushed to social, to divine, gives thee to make thy neighbor's blessing thine. Is this too little for thy boundless, for the boundless heart? Extend it, let thy enemies have part. Grasp the whole worlds of reason, life, and sense in one close system of benevolence. Happier as kinder in whate'er degree, and height of bliss but height of charity. God loves from whole to parts, but human soul must rise from individual to the whole. Self-love but serves the virtuous mind to wake, as the small pebble stirs the peaceful lake. The center moved, a circle straight succeeds, another still, and still another spreads. Friend, parent, neighbor, first it will embrace, his country next, and next all human race. Wide and more wide, the o'erflowings of the mind take every creature in, of every kind. Earth smiles around with boundless bounty blessed, and heaven beholds its image in his breast. Come then, my friend, my genius, come along, O master of the poet and the song, and while the muse now stoops and now or now ascends to man's low passions or their glorious ends, teach me, like thee, in various nature wise, to fall with dignity, with temper rise, Formed by thy converse, happily to steer from grave to gay, from lively to severe. Correct with spirit, eloquent with, lee, with ease, intent to reason, or polite to please. Oh, while along the stream of time thy name expanded flies and gathers all its fame, say, shall my little bark attendant sail, pursue the triumph and partake the gale? When statesmen, heroes, kings in dust repose, whose sons shall blush, their fathers were thy foes. Shall then this verse to future age pretend, Thou wert my guide, philosopher, and friend. That urged by thee I turned but the tuneful art from sounds to things, from fancy to the heart. For wit's false mirror held up nature's light, showed erring pride, whatever is, is right. That reason, passion, answer one great aim, that true self-love and social are the same. 
that virtue only makes our bliss below, and all our knowledge is ourselves to know. And that concludes an essay on man by Alexander Pope.